It wasn't the biggest demonstration seen outside the Prime Minister's residence, but what they lacked in numbers, they made up for in volume. For months, protesters have gathered outside the place Mr Netanyahu has called home for the past 12 years, but last night was expected to be, officially at least, his last, and the mood was one of celebration. Everybody told us that it won't work, but uh, tomorrow a new government uh, is going to be in Israel, finally. Tomorrow is the beginning because there's a lot to repair and a lot to mend, and there are a lot of problems that need to be solved after 12 years. Others were erring on the side of caution. In Israel, Mr Netanyahu is known as the magician and some believe he could yet pull another rabbit out of his hat. I keep myself reserved as we do not have a final decision yet, but probably tomorrow it will be secure and we can secure Israel demo Israel's democracy and freedom and we can establish a well-functioning government. Observers believe such caution is well-placed. The coalition is fragile and has some unlikely bedfellows who've set aside ideological differences with the aim of removing Mr Netanyahu. Barring any surprises, far-right politician Naftali Bennett will be sworn in as Prime Minister of a government that includes the left-wing Meretz party as well as Arab members of the Knesset. The new government is expected to focus on areas where they believe they can work together while avoiding contentious issues. And the work is but Mr Netanyahu has vowed to continue his efforts to split the coalition. He's accused Mr Bennett of betraying voters and described his decision to join the coalition as the biggest fraud in the country's history. When he lost to Ehud Barak in 1999, Mr Netanyahu and his wife took six weeks to vacate the official residence. They may be celebrating for now, but few expect him to go quietly this time round.